This past week's pickups, episode number three, we had a pretty big order here, around 500 cards, I believe, coming in from CheckOutMyCards.com. That's ComC.com. So we'll just start looking in these right away. I haven't looked at them yet, so I have a general idea. I'm mostly trying to get vintage when I'm ordering and just some kind of random stuff as well. So let's see what we got here. So we got vintage football, like 56 tops, 55 tops, and vintage baseball. So I'm looking at, there's 56, 55 Bowman. So 55, 54, 53. Basically, these are going to cover 53 to probably 56. So these all look like they're the larger size cards from those years. Let's just thumb through these. Generally, these are all going to be just those years, football and baseball. So again, what I'm doing with these cards, I would say I have around a bucket piece on average into these. They're going to either be for sale at my card shows, my table, I'll have a $2 box. And then I might, I'll have a $5 box. So for example, this is a Harvey Keen rookie. And that looks like it's in pretty nice shape. So that'll be at least five on that one. You know, like these football cards would be five. And then also I was considering doing like a $3 box as well for some, you know, vintage stuff that's in, like this is a nice shape. Pretty nice looking card there. Just and also we have some oddball. These are like 55 Bowman airplane, 55 or 54. Pretty neat cards. I really like these cards. These are the 55 tops all Americans. So as you can see. This is all vintage stuff. I'll just try to thumb, thumb through these quickly. So what I'm doing when, I, when I'm picking up stuff, as I said, I try to pick up stuff for a buck or less. And I have these in my account. Once you buy on Check Out My Cards, you can keep them in your account as long as you want. And then you can request an order. So I can either say if I buy a card for two bucks, I can try to flip it. Maybe I'll try to sell it for four or five or whatever. Or I can have it in my account, not priced. That means when you request an order, that card will come with your shipment. So say you just buy a card and reprice it right away, then that's in your your account for sale. If you buy it and you don't reprice it right away, and then you request a shipment, then it's going to be shipped to you. So just a little info on, on how that works. But I'll try to have four or five hundred cards, and it'll probably take me six weeks or so to, to buy that many cards. It depends how many I'm looking at. You know, I only generally look a couple times a week, two, three times a week. It depends on how much time I have. But I'll just type in, say, like a year tops, you know, like 52 tops or something, you know, and I'll see what's what's available. If any anything new is up that I haven't seen before, you know, it, it can be a little time consuming to do all this. But again, I'm I'm not looking to necessarily flip these immediately. You have to have a kind of a long game on this kind of stuff. You know, I'm not even when you're buying on ComC and you're looking to just flip, you you can't expect to flip something within a couple days. So yeah, sometimes that will happen, but generally it's going to take you a while. But if you buy something, you know, and it's around the lowest price and it's in decent shape 
and say it's a vintage card or whatever, 53 tops or something like that, a highly sought after set, you know, it's generally going to sell for you before too long. All right, guys, so that was a bunch of vintage stuff. Looks like there's probably, you know, 300 or so vintage cards right there. So pretty nice stuff. Looks like 53 to 56 on those. So let's see what we got here. Here's a bigger box. And right away we got a... All right, so I'll save that for last, actually, because that was probably the nicest card that I picked up in that, in this order. And you know, some of this is kind of... Oddball stuff, and they, they I have to say, they pra they package this stuff really well. Because let's look at, so these were, I thought these were really neat. And I'm not sure what I paid, probably not more than two bucks on these. And these are, again, you have the slip on the back that tells you what they are. 1961-62 Salada Coins. And that's really a, a nice looking coin there a nice photo on that I think these are really cool looking you know say if I, if I paid two dollars for that I'm gonna try to get five on it you just don't see a lot of these at shows you know so it's hard to find vintage hockey in general and I do have quite a few people that ask me about vintage hockey now I don't know that much but if I'm buying something for a buck or two and it's a vintage item like that I can probably expect to sell it pretty quickly here is a, um, these are 70, 71 tops coins, and I think these were like less than a dollar for that one, Art Chamsky, and here's a Dick Groat. So if these were less than a buck, I'm gonna put them in for two. And they, they come in the nice holders, these coins, like larger items like that, and those holders are generally pretty expensive. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So if you can see the packaging, you know, this must be a larger item. They do a, just a really good job. I'm really impressed with their packing. And this this order took probably five weeks. So basically, if I have a order cards that I'm that I'm putting in my account, it's probably going to take me five or six weeks to build up a four or five hundred card order. And I don't know why that was in there, but that's a just a 56, John, 55 Johnny Gray. No idea why that was in. I'm going to assume that's something similar, so I won't spend our time doing that. Let's look in this. There's a box within a box here. And these are nice boxes, too. You know, you have the bigger boxes, old different size cards, larger cards. Let's see what we got here. Another box of stuff here. This looks like it's all just very random stuff here. So this is going to be a little newer stuff, but you know you have a triple jersey auto. This guy I'd never heard of, but there's a bunch of Giannis I bought, like some of the nicer looking Giannis cards. Ted Williams, 69 tops card. There's a 70. I know I bought a bunch of Giannis. 38 Churchman Boxing, Griffey Jr. You know, I would have paid probably two bucks for this Griffey. And I'll try to get five at it on a show. And those will generally sell, no problem. I've had Griffeys in the past, 89 Fleers. You know, just a cool card here. Dual Jersey, football. Bernard Pierce. I thought this was a cool card, too. Uh, this is a race used tire in there and that is Dale Jarrett so you know a great driver with a game or a race used tire I'd never seen those I thought that was really cool 79 Nolan Ryan these are 49 Remar baking and I know I only paid like a dollar a piece for these those will go I think for five dollars all day a bunch of those I bought a bunch, I know I bought a bunch of Giannis. This is Roger Staubach's actual rookie. It's a pro action, but it's a 72 tops, which is his rookie year. These 62 tops, Babe Bruce. Orlando Cepeda, second year. 
Ricky Henderson second year. Some LeBrons, more of those. Just vintage Hall of Famers, Pete Maravich, and then superstars of today, Giannis, Trey Young, Jordan, etc. Unitas, 1961 tops, highlight. Autographs, you know, I think that was a dollar. These are pretty cool cards. These are 1970 tops, Man on the Moon. I think they had it in 69 as well. There's a 1969 Man on the Moon. Those are pretty neat looking cards. So I, I know I picked up quite a few of those. This will be a longer video. Hopefully I don't run over my time. I'm not sure how much time I have, but 50 Bowman, more Man on the Moon. Just a bunch of vintage and then some kind of autographs these are pretty neat cards I think uh, they're 1950 tops bring them back alive kind of oddball non-sports Johnny Unitas so you're just kind of looking to buy stuff that you generally either they're superstars or just oddball stuff that you don't generally see pretty nice Ditka 63 tops LeBron's Giannis Maddox game used vintage Hall of Famers Shaq rookies. Punisher, that's a pretty cool card. 1994 Fleer Metal. 79 Walter Payton. I thought this was a really interesting card. It's a 2018 The Bar Pieces of the Past Memento, and it's a news relic. It's a like a cut piece from a newspaper about Harry Houdini. I just thought that was a pretty cool looking card. I don't really know much about it, but kind of interesting. Got more of the same here. Triple threads. Ron Nakai, he signs through the mail. He struck out 27 batters in the minor leagues. Johnny Unitas, 71 Dell. So this card is a Marshall Falk. It's a ticket and a jersey card. So I got a few of those kind of things in there. More Jordans, Terry Bradshaw, 72. I started buying some Star Wars cards. These are like the 77 Tops first series. Garrett Atkins. So as you can see, just a wide variety of stuff here. A whole bunch of Giannis. All right, so we got a few of the few better cards here to show you guys. Check this out. So this is a 2017 Leaf Babe Ruth Memorial Immortal Collection. So it's a Yankee Stadium, original Yankee Stadium seat and it's numbered 30 out of 50. I think I got like 20 on this. Pretty cool card looking card there. Let's see what else we got. Some more coins. We've got more of the hockey coins here. More baseball. And then these are 
car 1961 jello wheels just about done here but we got some really a couple real cool cards to show here all right so i had been buying the older stuff this is a 1922 American caramel and it's kind of rough but it was cheap enough it's probably 10 or 15 then we had T206 1909 T206 one there and then one there I'm thinking these were around 30 a piece on these there's just not a lot of these listed up on Com C. I don't think they last very long. I've probably bought in 10 or 15 since I've started buying on there more regularly. Just looking for some vintage stuff to add to my collection. Not necessarily looking to sell. And this is the last card I have to show, the best one. And I don't remember what I paid. I think I paid around 150 for this one. I don't have any of these. This is a 1922 Miller Huggins New York manager. So let's take a look at the back. Here. PSA 3. And Hall of Fame manager Miller Huggins right here. I said I don't have any of these I'm trying to just get more stuff like this like that and like the t206s stuff that's a hundred years old you know it's just hard to find this kind of stuff you're not gonna see a lot of it unless you're going to big shows even then you don't see a lot of it so I've been just trying to pick up that kind of stuff just to kind of broaden my collection and kind of have some stuff that I don't have anything of like that so that's it guys pretty nice group of cards here I picked up you know again I'll try to go through again and kind of show what I'm selling and what I'm sending in to check out my cards that I sell so at this point everything I that I bought here this is all you bought from credit so everything I have sh shown should be everything I, I probably won't ever have to put any more money in and everything I have will just be based on credit and I've been trying to flip more cards and that's going actually pretty well as long as you're buying stuff that's reasonably popular and as long as it's in the top two or three as far as price goes and it's in decent shape you'll do pretty well on that kind of stuff so guys thanks for watching this episode number three of this past week's pickups please stay tuned for more I'm gonna have more videos like this every week i'm going to have it on monday every week so i'm getting quite a bit of stuff in so i'll have i'll have a video a week on this kind of stuff what i picked up and uh please like and subscribe check out the links below got my ebay store my check out my cards store and also my instagram if you guys follow me on there thanks for watching and stay tuned